the one thing you can do, so you say, all right, well, for years I've mulched my cherry in my front yard and it's got this volcano and it's this tightly packed root zone because what happens is, is you, you're tricking the, uh, the tree into thinking that the soil level has risen and it sends out these roots called adventitious roots. And these things will come out from the trunk and they'll hit the edge of the mulch here and they'll start wrapping around. And again, that leads to girdling roots like we mm -hmm. talked about. Girdling roots will, uh, will constrict the tree. It will keep the nutrients from flowing from the base to the top, uh, which obviously will, will kill the tree, it starves it out. Uh, so you get these, these massive girdling roots that you just keep putting more and more mulch on over year after year and building up the volcano. Real tough to break up. What we do um, is we use a, a pneumatic air tool, uh, which looks like the spaceship gun. I don't have it. One Sounds day. fancy too. It is pretty fancy. Uh, that connects to a commercial grade compressor, air compressor. And it blasts out air uh, in a very concentrated nozzle at just under Mach 2. So it's this high powered gun that we use for digging. And we use that because it doesn't disturb the root system. Uh, it doesn't, you know, the roots that you want to keep are not getting broken, but you're digging around them. So we blast out that, that root ball so that it's all mixed up here. And uh, you just pretend this is a large tree that's been mulched the wrong way. And now you've got all these, these gnarled up uh, girdling roots exposed. We use hand pruners and sometimes hand saws if it's bad enough to cut those roots off of the tree. And then uh, oftentimes we'll, we'll mix in a little bit of biochar and some compost as a top dressing for a, a healthier planting medium or a healthier growing medium, and then put an appropriate level of mulch over the top of that, that hopefully uh, uh, future uh, mulching can, can follow that.